Hey guys, it's the unboxing in here. You already got a glance about what we're reviewing today. The mechanical keyboard manual. Because we're reviewing a mechanical keyboard, that is. And this mechanical keyboard is a pretty nice keyboard. And it's a pretty budget-friendly keyboard. And it looks pretty nice. It's called the Dyra K65. I'm pretty sure. Uh, DK65. Uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. Um... Uh, I have had one issue with it. I don't know if I've just been playing with it too hard, but it won't connect when I connect it to anything. Um, but the Bluetooth still lights up, so I can still show you the lights, but maybe that's just mine. You know, I just got a bad keyboard. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to show you what it comes with. So, of course, it comes with a keyboard. I have Cherry Mix Red switches on this. Um, it is about, it will run you down 50 bucks. And then it comes with these four extra keycaps. This is the new version, the second version. There's two. This is the second version. And then a keycap puller here. And then we have, of course, the manual. Because you got to have the manual, right? Um, and then here's the USB Type-C port for the keyboard itself. So we'll just set that right here. And, uh, yeah. So, first, let's get all this out of the way. We're going to just uh, test out the keyboard itself um, and uh, do a little sound test. I don't know how the quality is going to be garbage, but I'm just going to type some stuff. So, yeah. I'm just going to press random buttons. So, let's go. It's pretty bendable. It works. And you still have the arrow keys because of how they switch the layout around. And it is. A 62% keyboard, so it's not 60%, it's the same size actually, but they just laid out the keys differently, so it's technically a 63% keyboard. And it's uh, really nice. I'm just gonna type some random stuff. Alright, now let's get into the lighting effects here. Turn the Bluetooth on. There's lighting press effects. To change it, you're going to do FN and then like the question mark button. And then this will light up if it's in Bluetooth mode, but if it's in wired mode, you shouldn't have a problem. And then. I think this is, yeah. And then there's. No, it's not the one. I'm trying to show y'all one. Okay, here's Afterburst. So if you press the whole keyboard, light up everywhere. And then eventually go away. But anyway, it's a pretty nice keyboard. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, change some switches on it. Turn it off. It actually compares to one of my Bluetooth keyboards, which I actually use for typing in my videos. This, which is 20 bucks, um, the size, not the quality, but the quality is obviously much better on this one, but the size is about the same. I mean, in, uh, not in length-wise, but not side by side. But in length-wise, it's about the same size. Uh, this is a little bit shorter, a tiny little bit shorter, but yeah, anyway, we won't fool it around with that. Um, the manual here gives you everything you need to know. And the manual, just like any other manual, just tells you how to do stuff. Sorry if you hear my mic, I'm actually in the lobby on Fortnite right now. 
But uh, yeah, there's the manual. My Dyra. Some people say diarrhea, but it's my Dyra. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to pull out a keycap and replace it. But I want to turn it off. I don't do anything. Okay, so first we're going to try the escape key. I don't even know if it's even going to work. but So you're going to stick it on like this and then just pull. And let's uh, get this bad boy open. I think we have two of the same, yeah. So these could be the arrow keys. You could go like this for arrow keys. And then, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to go for the king. Try to see if I can get on straight. Okay. Those feel a little bit new, I mean, because it's a new key. I've never used any of these keys yet. But uh, that's some pretty nice touches that you can change it a little. With a custom customization. Can't speak. Some customization. Um, but yeah, so this is the keyboard itself. Um, I'm going to take it off and put the stock. Or actually, I will try one of the other keycaps now. And the keycap puller, I'm pretty sure, will work on any other keyboard. So don't worry about that. Uh, but most keyboards come with one. Or not most, but some. If you get lucky. Okay. Alright. Let's put this keycap on. Well, that one went on quick. Pretty sure I put it on the wrong way, but it still feels and looks pretty nice. So, yeah. Now we are going to take it off real quick. If I can, I'm doing this the wrong way every time, aren't I? No, I got it right. Just not. Bruh. <laughs> at this point you might as well just pull the keycap off of your hand but uh it is like kind of nice touch to have and uh it's by key move which is also kind of the brand i think but uh and it has some pretty nice touches but anyway so this is everything that comes with the keyboard besides the cord that, I don't know, that actually plugs in have that there that is everything that comes with it just gonna get a thumbnail here um if i can actually get the thumbnail to work hopefully anyway there it is and now um we've got it <coughs> pretty much so this is the dyra kmove dyra DK63 mechanical gaming keyboard with Cherry MX red switches. I'm gonna do a little, one quick little sound test for y'all. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna press all the keys one time and then that's it. Sorry if you hurt my mom. Okay, mama. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that will be the end of the video. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And make sure to like the video and subscribe. Peace.